Okay, let's talk about uh, Coccidioides imitis. And this is another fungi which is uh, systemic. And uh, it's also known as desert rheumatism or valley fever. And uh, you could say it is uh, opportunistic. Uh, and it is dimorphic, which means that uh, it can change uh, so that uh, uh, outside the body at uh, 25 degrees centigrade, centigrade it is a uh, branched uh, hyphae, but once it enters the body at 37 degrees it would become uh, a sphe uh, spherule uh, containing endospores. So uh, this is where we start knowing that it's dimorphic and uh, it can be uh, branched hyphae or it can be spherules, and we hear spherules coming up a lot. Uh, in the description of this. So let's talk about the clinical case. It's a typical clinical case here. An old man and his grandson visit Death Valley National Park in the deserts of Southern California. So California is the buzzword here. And upon returning from the visit, the man develops breathing difficulties along with arthralgias, so some joint pain and some periarticular swellings and um, erythema uh, nodosum. And the x-rays reveal a mnemonic infiltrate as well as granulomas. So a diagnosis is confirmed by observing spherules uh, containing individual endospores in uh, tissue specimens. And as expected, the child remains unaffected, but several weeks later tests positive for a fungal antigen DTH reaction. So let's consider the clinical presentation and what else we can find out about this coxoides.